A British news outlet reported today that the governments of the U.S. and the United Kingdom have been literally peering into the lives of Americans and Britons. A covert program codenamed Optic Nerve apparently used computer webcams to watch online users. The Guardian newspaper based all this on documents provided by former NSA employee Edward Snowden. Hari Srinivasan has more. The report details how a British spy agency collected images from Yahoo webcam chats with help from the NSA. The images and associated metadata were stored and subject to search using experimental facial recognition software. According to the documents, in one six-month period, the program collected images of nearly two million Yahoo users around the world, including a number of sexually explicit communications. The British agency, the Government Communications Headquarters, or GCHQ, said in a statement today that all of its actions are in accordance with the law. Late today, the NSA emailed a statement to the news hour saying the National Security Agency does not ask its foreign partners to undertake any intelligence activity that the U.S. government would be legally prohibited from undertaking itself. Joining me to walk us through what they discovered is Guardian reporter Spencer Ackerman. So, Spencer, how did this program work? So what happened was is as part of its very broad abilities to collect data in transit across the Internet, GCHQ collected a lot of information from users of this specific uh, webcam service based out of Yahoo Messenger. And from there, it went into databases that analysts could use to comb through both the imagery and the associated data around where those images came from to both find targets that it already had in its intelligence gathering purposes and figure out new targets. So you're saying that it's not just the targeted folks that got swept up in this net. What about Americans that were using Yahoo Web Chat between 2008 and 2010? Should they be concerned that there are images of them stored either at the NSA or GCHQ now? It's a major question because uh, GCHQ, like the NSA, does not have the ability on the front end of its bulk collection programs to filter out data coming from the U.S. and coming from the U.K. Uh, we didn't get direct answers as to how many Americans, if any, um, have been collected, but uh, the rules and the laws that GCHQ is under on the search end, when analysts can look through this database, distinguish merely between people believed to be in the UK and people not believed to be in the UK. So Americans, data, Americans imagery data that's been caught up in this uh, could in fact be searched by GCHQ, uh, the most important partner of the NSA from surveillance purposes. So what did they do with all these pictures? What's the facial recognition element? The facial recognition element is fascinating because it's an emerging technology that even the documents uh, concede just really isn't precisely mature yet. The idea what would be, uh, from an intelligence perspective, if you had a partial identifier, maybe an email address or part of a screen name of an intelligence target, but didn't really have much more than that, potentially, if you swept up all of this Yahoo webcam data, you might be able to find the image of someone's face uh, or someone's body type, and that could be used uh, as part of a way of targeting this person, finding out more about this person, and if necessary, apprehending that person. Is there anything in the documents that says this program stopped? Is it still no, going it on? Uh, it's an interesting question. We didn't get uh, a precise answer to it. Um, the uh, latest the documents indicate that it was still active is 2012. But uh, when we asked if it is ongoing or if it stopped, uh, we, we got uh, responses similar to the one that you read out that um, discussed uh, matters of the law and how all of this was legal, not whether or not this actually stopped. So what are the legal consequences there? Was GCHQ allowed to do something that perhaps the U.S. government wouldn't do? Or does the U.S. government have to get approval from the FISA court for all this? It's a, it's a fascinating question. GCHQ is under fewer legal constraints than the NSA is uh, from uh, the sort of equivalent privacy laws, which aren't really equivalent, but for the sake of this discussion, close enough. All GCHQ analysts have to uh, have is a reasonable suspicion, not even reasonable from a particularly uh, legally uh, binding context, that uh, its intelligence targets uh, are genuine from out of this program. If they want to search for it, the protections are about whether they, they have reasonable 
to believe that uh, the accounts associated are inside or outside the UK. Beyond that, not really a lot. Uh, the question that, that still remains outstanding that NSA wouldn't address uh, is what its level of access is uh, to mm -hmm. this database. Uh, they didn't directly address that to us when, when we went to them on that. And NSA's tools, like the X key score query tool, uh, are sending the documents to work alongside this data. So there are suspicions uh, that remain outstanding as to uh, the degree to which NSA All was right. able to access this data. All right. Both the statements from the NSA and Yahoo are on our website. Spencer Ackerman from The Guardian, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me.